Are we ready? All right, let's start this lecture. Talk. <laughs> Thought-provoking conversation, shall we start, hey? That's what I was meant to say. So hi, my name's Mark Smead. I'm from uh, WebEx Solutions, which is the parent company of Arc Extensions. And you just heard Paul just speak just now about our products, our vision, where we're going. For those who weren't here, I'm going to give a little summary about what we just said. We're then going to do like a product demo of how things can work and you actually seeing it. And then we'll have some space at the end for you to ask questions and then we'll the best, uh, best we can do to answer them, basically. Is that okay? And then the workshop. So, um, as you know from, uh, from the, oh, yeah, okay, got you. Sorry, <laughs> threw me off there. So, uh, we've been talking about usability today. It's been a big subject. Uh, Brian Tima made a big strong case about usability. And let's be honest about it, if uh, you did the most revolutionary website, right, one that Apple wanted to buy off you tomorrow for millions of pounds, but no one could use it, you're not going to get the sale, right? And in fact, the sites I use the most are sites that, to one of you, make websites built in the 80s look modern, but they work, they do their job. So what we need to do as web developers is to build sites that are easy for our clients and our colleagues to use, okay? And as you've seen from what Paul was doing in the last session, you know, Joomla claims to be a WYSIWYG. What you see is what you get. I kind of think it's more of a what you see is what you hope for because when you add it in the admin, you then check it on the front and the front doesn't quite render it as the way the admin does and you're tinkering with it and the admin looks messy and the front looks great and you're sitting there putting your hair out, you see I've not got much left because it's been quite a stressful experience for me. And, you know, we said to ourselves that we, we build sites for our customers. We, we know how they work. We know what's going on. We use it ourselves. Why don't we change the way this happens? Why don't we sort this problem out? And that's where the brainchild of Arc Extensions came from. Uh, you may be interested to learn. It stands for Acts of Random Kindness, but ask us about that over a beer. We'll talk about it. But, you know, especially if you're buying a beer, by the way, just as a hint. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what did we do? So we developed a series of tools, and that they are growing, to help us to achieve a usable and friendly site while still having the power of Joomla, but not the kind of, and the simplicity of WordPress, in my opinion. That's how I like describing it to our customers. Um, and what you can see here is uh, what we call Arc Themes, and it's Bounce, it's our first template. And you're asking me why have we got a template and why we're showing this. And the reason is, is because a lot of template companies like to do their own thing. Right? Uh, they build it for WordPress, they build it for Joomla, and they don't really build it specifically for a version. They have their own framework, it makes everything slow, clumbersome. And if she's at Sanders' speech, you, can, you remember him talking about speed and performance is key. And for every second someone's not on your, is waiting for your site to load, they're more likely to click away. That's a sale lost. And let's be honest, if you're selling things, that's quite an impact. And if you're getting the details again, that's quite an impact. Okay? So we've built templates that are starting to interact with our products and you've got a nice family of products and we're going to explore those now. So if uh, Mr. Paul, Paul Criddle, my lovely assistant, not as pretty as me might have, but he's the younger model, much to my horror. <laughs> um, if you'd be so kind to log into this site. Now this site has pre-installed some of our products. We do have some demo areas that you can play with um, a bit later if you'd like to. Paul's going to lo log in. Please hold. <laughs> it's not that you press it slowly. <laughs> and then as you can see, Paul talked about earlier, in the bottom left corner, you can start seeing that the editor has enabled and it's allowing us to able on the front. Now, what we're going to do is going to hover over edit and enable the editor. We do that because it's so easy to edit, you could quite easily make a mistake. We want you to be aware that you've started the editing process. And if Paul was to click on any of these, these widgets here, you can see the editor load up. He can double click on an icon. Mm -hmm. And then change it as he requires. Okay? And this is all using the Arc Editor, the Arc Media Manager. And he's going to pick a nice, whichever one he wants. Mm. Icon. Wherever you like. So, and what happens is when he clicks away, oh, let's check who's an icon now. So, pick an icon from our fun awesome collection. Try to pick a colour. Hmm. 
we can see it's loaded straight away. Now you're going to ask me, well, how do you save it? If Paul clicks away, the editor does a little, little uh, Ajax thing, and the whole thing's saved. Okay, it's really easy to do. So how do you get something like that working on your site? Well, it's quite easy. If you go to arcextensions.com, okay, you can download this editor for free, or can pay for a subscription, get the rest of the tools as well. And what we provide you is the Arc Extension Manager. The reason is, is we've got quite a few downloads, and we don't like people having to download and upload and download and upload and download and install because we just want to click and it works, right? You install the Media Manager, which is what we offer by default, and then it will log you into our site, and then you click Install, and the Arc Editor will come straight away, okay? You then simply log into the front of your site, and that will allow you to do that. The Arc Editor is interacting with all of the core functionality of Joomla. It also activate, interacts with um, a lot of the modules, like a custom HTML module. Now, some of you may not know this, but Joomla doesn't support versioning for modules. Okay? Now, for us, that was a real issue, because imagine you've, you've made a nice change to your custom HTML module, you've clicked away, you've realized you've just deleted the wrong one, and you're like, again, pulling what little hair you have left out, and you're going, how do I get it back? So we introduce versioning for modules, where, again, you just simply click in it, and you just see Joomla's normal screen. But again, it's all ARC stuff clicking in, and working. Okay. Mm -hmm. If Paul was to scroll to the top for me, please. Just restore to the version that I just made. Anyway, okay, so I just close it. <laughs> there we go. If we scroll to the top, and if we go to pages, and then blog. You can see this lovely article here called Summer Loving that we've, we had earlier. Okay? Now, Summer Loving is great because I want to add some nice custom fields to it. I don't know if you saw the lecture on custom fields, and I presume you have, so I'm not going to educate you on how to add them. But if Paul would very kindly switch to the admin for me, and in doing so, he's going to go to the articles, then fields, and we have some predefined fields that we, we set up earlier, and he's simply just going to publish them. Okay? Anyone in particular? We're going to go to the front of our site again, to that Summer Loving article. We load the page so we can see the effects that have occurred. Probably with full screen mode is you can't tell whether it's reloading or not. Well left. And here's our custom field to code. And with editor en enabled, Paul can quite quickly click on the word anything and the editor's kicking in, and you've got your custom field interaction. Again, Joomla doesn't support in the core um, versioning for custom fields. They're looking to do it in 4.9. Again, it was an issue for us, and we've introduced it already. So as a 3.73 with our editor, you get versioning with custom fields, and you can see it's very quick and easy to edit. Okay? You scroll down. Um, is this what view in the full screen mode, aren't we? Yeah. If you go back to screen, please. And scroll down. So if you scroll up slightly. No. So the the top image there is the intro image for the site. Okay? Oh, scroll up slightly. Or the one at the top, please. That's the intro image. And then you've got the full image in Joomla. Now what you can do here, if if were we to change it, which we're not going to do now, but were we to change it, you'll be changing the introduction image. And you click through, then you can change the actual image for the site. And all in all, you're seeing what the user can see. Right? What people are going to see in your site. And this is what is really going to make the what you see is what you get work, this inline editing that we're proposing. Right? Now, a big problem our clients have, not all of them, but a lot of them, is we produce a lovely website for them, and bless them, they try their hardest, they really do, but they struggle to work out the HTML code for a button and how to add the classes to a button. Okay? And this young man came in one day, he would spent, um, the client's not here, we built it for, thankfully, so I can say it, but he spent about three, four weeks building this masterpiece. It really was the Mona Lisa of the web world, you know. He'd come in, he's all proud. The client had it a week and he was slitting his wrist because he, the client just was trying their best to manage the HTML, was trying to insert buttons, and he just couldn't work it out. Could not do it, okay? So what he said is, I'm fed up, I'm producing ARC widget, right? 
And that's literally how this product came about. Arc Widget is effectively the ability for you, the developers and the content administrators to write snippets of HTML and, insert and offer it as an insert for other non-HTML savvy people to insert quickly and easily. If Paul switches to the admin for me and then loads goes into Arc Widget, his brainchild, which has brought lots of joy to him. He goes home happy now, by the way, when he leaves the office. <laughs> you can see Arc Widget here. Right? Arc Widget allows us to group our snippets of HTML into categories, which, we've, which can be published and unpublished. Not, I forget this isn't touchscreen. My laptop touchscreen. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, published and unpublished categories and whatnot. We've also spent a lot of time making reference, pre, kind of pre snippets of code for all of the Bootstrap 2, Bootstrap 3, UIKit 2, UIKit 3. So, should we go to new, we can select the type of system we're loading within our site. This particular site is loading, I uh, forget, whichever one. And Paul can then pick on any of the icons he wants, select the type, because he knows it's bootstrap, okay, and go, okay, I want my article one, click through, and Arc Widget will automatically put that code in for you, the HTML for you to tweak, okay? The beauty with this is that when your, your non-technical person comes to the site and goes, how do I add that button, that nice green circular button? Is it, what class was it? Was it UK dash button dash something or other dash something or other? Calling you up, you don't remember it because it's been a while. You know, they just simply go to the editor, go to the content area, click our arc widget icon and you can insert this, okay? Now who remembers Brian Tiemann's keynote this morning? I think it was about secret eight or secret nine. He was talking about templates, right? I thought it was a great idea, you know, because you do need templates for customers. You don't want them, as I said, destroying your, your lovely Mona Lisa you just produced a couple of weeks ago. But Arc Widget takes it a step further, okay? Brian had produced articles which they could overwrite or delete, in which case he's in trouble, okay? Whereas Arc Widget allows you to create snippets of HTML through these screens and then say, I want that to always load on my blog category. I want that to always load in virtual mark. I want that to always load in my news blog. So it's possible to automatically insert a template for any of these components. And it's giving you lots of control because then your users go, okay, contact us, new, there's a template. Blogs, new, there's a template. Virtual mark, here's a new product, there's a template. Okay? And what we're doing is allowing you to make it easy for your customers. Do you want to demo it? Oh. Are oh, you going to press the auto insert button? <laughs> there you are. To make it blog only. Yeah. So anywhere where the editor will load, we can get automatic templates to be inserted. Right? And all of this is trying to make it easy for you to manage your websites. Okay. Hmm? So, I think we're doing art things now. If I that's the field, should I just show the auto insert? Yeah, sure. This is Brainchild. I told you he's very excited. He's keen to show the auto insert working. So, um, so we've created some widgets that we want to auto insert on our blogs. So when our user, our front end author only wants to create a blog, the branding team would have branded it for them. They just want to do the typing. They've created their article. This is for the blogs. Joomla loads up um, custom fields now. And bang, as soon as they change the blog, HTML is inserted for them. Now they just need to type their article in. Their brand is preserved and we've got quite a powerful system that's quite easy to use. Again, same for the front end as well. Um, the art widget. You can create, a, insert any snippet you want. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Magic. So again, all of this is trying to make your sites easy for your people to use while giving you the ability to have finer settings and tweak it. And one of the last things I'm going to show you is Arc Themes. This is what this is, Bounce. It's our first template. We're very proud of it. 
Because again, the idea of it is, is to strip out as much JavaScript, as much CSS as possible, as Sanders would say in the other room, and to allow us to have a lightweight template that in incorporates all of our products and they just work without you having to set them up and remember settings and so on and so forth. So, um, go on. Sorry, you lost me. All right. So, Art Bounce, some of the great features it has it is in the admin. Okay. Now, one thing we hate, and I'm sure you've all done this, you've all got your standard website, right? You've gone, I've set this up perfectly for client A, and client B just needs the same thing with a different colour logo and what have you, right? Now, what typically people do is they'll use a Kiba backup, back up the site, restore it, the full client site, to another location, and all they're really after is the template settings, ultimately, and then, they will then they've got all the client's data in there, and if you do what I did once, you forget to remove the original client's information, and then that <laughs> client gets upset that, that the other client, client A, is getting all client B's leads. I didn't understand the problem myself, but, you know, that's what happened. So, again, we just thought, this is ridiculous, right? And what happens if, again, you give it to your client, and God bless them, they get into the area where the templates are, because you haven't changed the menus, as Brian suggested, and they start destroying your site, right? You don't want them to keep, restore the whole site, because then you've lost the articles I've been writing for the last six months, so you've lost the contact information. So what Arc Bounce does, and all Arc Themes templates do, has the ability to back up and restore settings. Okay, so you back it up, you take it with you wherever you go, the client calls up screaming, pref normally when you're on holiday for reasons I fail to understand, right? You're on there in the beach with a martini in your hand and the client's screaming at you down the phone because you forgot to turn it off, let's be honest. And, uh, and, and you're like, oh, really? I just want to have my martini. I don't want to be helping you out. Well, I do because you're paying me, but I don't at the same time. You can simply just restore the settings and the system's also keeping a backup of on the site itself. Nice, easy. And we're trying to make it foolproof. That's the goal. Okay. Some of the other lovely settings about this, which Sanders will love because he writes system plugins. He told me about this in the last lecture. He hates the fact some components and some uh, modules load in their JavaScript libraries and CSS files. It drives him mad. It's, well, not his precise wording, but you know he had a bit more hair like me when uh, he started the lecture. <laughs> now. <laughs> What we decided to do then is we had the same problem. There was like 15 different versions of jQuery loading. We were sitting there going, really? We don't need every single version under the sun ever released. And there's six different versions of Bootstrap. Right? Again, you're starting to lose your hair and you're having, how do I move it? So we said, we've had enough. So we did the ability so that our templates can allow you to exclude CSS files and, and, and JavaScript files. You don't have to write a system plug anymore, Sanders, you'll be happy to know. Just use our template. You install it, you set it up, you can fine tune this system, and the idea being it's lightweight. And like I said earlier, because we're building for Joomla only, we're using Joomla's frameworks and Joomla's thought patterns. Okay? We extend the module manager and put settings in there so each module can have individual settings. We have the ability to create layers, uh, different layouts in the front. So, uh, sorry, the front, in a different tab. So you can have a full width column, you can have uh, one, one, uh, one, four, two, four, and a one, four layout. Those who know Bootstrap know what I'm talking about. Nice grid layout. And you've got all these flexibility and these options available to you. Again, giving you the ability to create powerful sites easily. You may know PHP, but you don't need to use it. Because the idea is, is that it should do it anyway, without you having to change it. And the beautiful thing is you're not doing core updates, you are not. You can update the system straight away. Like with other uh, third-party template things, you make a change to their site, it's all over. Because you, when they release an update, you lose all their set, lose all your tailor-made settings. It's nice, it's simple, and this works really well on the front line, the front end. Right. Okay? So I've given you an example of some of our products. Um, and now's a bit of a time for, has anyone got any questions or any ideas you'd like to discuss? Or anything like that, Mr. Franklin. You might can show you a few stuff on the editor as well. Let's do it. Should we do that? Oh, we can't have questions. So, a, a lot. Of and the work, do a little workshop as well. We can, maybe we can do it. A lot of the times, I mean, we've spoken about um, today inline editing on the front end. We've showed you our, our editor, but also our arc editor is a great great editor and it does a few really cool things which I think you'll find was interesting so if you go to um, let's go back to, go to go to components okay and we go to arc editor 
we go to options okay you'll see on styles we have something called uh, an auto style sheet parser now everyone's been frustrated before when you've got to try and create this custom editor style sheet to make your editor look like the front end right and you've got to sit there and you can put all these classes and it just takes long well so we decided well let's get rid of that and so what our editor does will actually look at the front end of the website look at it find the classes and auto configure it it means you literally can just install and ready to go now I don't know but that saves like about 50 minutes just off setting up your editor straight off there and um, and then the other problem that you have is is that you get your style list don't you and then you if you ever use the WYSIWYG editor you go to your style list we can go to a content view and you click on it and it's got like every freaking style in the template and it goes right off if, you, if you've been there and then you're kind of like scrolling through all of these different styles just trying to find the right one and so it becomes long, a big long headache as you can see but what we've done also with the uh, the back end of the editor we go back to is it no, no. no. I'll change it back to components we go to components options, options yeah styles if you if you change it to your custom styles you can you, you set the custom styles you see that we've commented all different um, classes for bootstrap for UI kit UI kit 3 as well bootstrap um, 3 as well so literally those classes are the default building blocks for your website and so all you need to do is go comment in comment it for uh, bootstrap so we've this has been set up for for arc themes for our arc framework and you get a beautiful list straight out the box ready for your work in um, also the, the other things are one of our competitors JCE they uh, do user permissions don't they on, on their toolbars okay so an, another question that we often get on our forms is, is well how about user permissions how about setting it up and the people say well you can't apply user permissions or to to our toolbars but what we've done is we again because we're much more puritans I guess we suppose we've actually done exactly how Joomla work and so we've done it on a plugin level and so if you go to the arc editor plugins, plugins? yeah go to a plugin and let's just say the font awesome one you can install one plugin and go to I think it's is it editor options or basic you can install one plugin and you can set your user permission on that so rather than having like 10 different toolbars let's just say you've got a, a, a site and you've got 10 different users that means you've got to create 10 different user toolbars in JCE and then you're probably gonna to have to log in and check every single one to see if it works and then when you install a new plugin you've got to go back and drag it onto 10 toolbars but if you could set user permissions on a plugin basis you could use one toolbar for all of them and you think about it, that's gonna be like one two three actions where in JCE you're gonna to have to end up doing like 10 actions and you want to log in several times to check it and so just working again with the system rather than reinventing something can make WYSIWYG editing so much easier so there's some of the key things that we've that we that we've done also um, Oh, no, if we can we just what? go back to the editor component editor and the options also you can drag and drop upload images and we saw uh, um, Brian speak about that this morning with uh, tiny MC but we have an also resize as well so you can drag and drop and it will auto resize your images and it will also work for PDF documents as well you can drag and drop your word your PDF documents onto the word editor right in front in line or in the back in WYSIWYG mode and it will automatically do that so we're just thinking about how do we how do we deal with these common problems how do we deal with the common workflows and, and, and the confusion that people have and so they're just some of the com some of the couple of the things that we've just wanted to highlight with, uh, with with the arc editor so that's kind of like a all-encompassing overview of things so Maybe I'll invite Mark back up and uh, any questions we can we can help. Anything to add, Paul?
Um, this, I mean, it, this session was to be a workshop, so if you've got laptops and stuff, we've got development sites. So if you want to see how to inline edit Joomla, I think now's the time to have a play, maybe. Okay, cool. So um, I've got that up. It, you put it up on your slide, but maybe. I'll, yeah. If anyone wants to have a play with inline editing for Joomla. So you go to JT, the clients. We've right. set up, um, luckily, there's no more than. 20 sites, we set in 20 development sites up for everyone to have a play. So if you've got the internet and you want to have a play now while, while asking questions, perhaps, um, we've set up a little Joomla. If you go to clients.webexsolutions slash Joomla Day UK, JD UK, and then pick a number between 1 and 20, or was it 15, um, we've, we've set up a site for you. So I've gone JDUK slash two slash three four. So if you want to have a play right now, um, yeah, the we've set up a front end template. Password would be demo and then JDUK slash the number of the site. You're yeah, on. then so it'd be JDUK zero zero one. So and then if you go to two, it'd be JDUK zero zero two two. That's right. And then if you go to 10, believe it or not, it's JD UK 0 10. That's the trick, right? Just wanted to test that you're listening <laughs> on that one. But if you want to play with it, and, and we've come around and we can help you and, and, and play with things. Oh, yeah, and we've got a coupon code as well. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I can give you this out. Yeah. So if you, are, what, if you want to have a play, if you've got laptops, feel free to log in. Um, then you'll have your editor toolbar. Uh, the URL is clients.webex.solutions slash JDUK. That's correct, yeah. Do you want a hand? So I'm going to uh, draw it to a close, so feel free to go. Thank you for listening, and if you do want to play or ask questions or what have you, feel free to use those sites and uh, come talk. Thank you. Thank you.